I'm going to tell you why UT may be getting ready to roll. All of you Longhorns fans have been blowing up my YouTube. I appreciate it. I'm going to show you what you're about to get on the coaching staff coming up right now. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Elite Athletes TV. I'm Mike Pulaski, former 11-year pro quarterback and quarterbacks coach here at EliteAthletesTV.com. Last couple days, since Tuesday... UT fans have been blowing up my YouTube account, and it's because I have a video on there about University of Washington defense as a preview for the season coming up last season. If you don't know, Coach Pete Kwiatkowski from Washington has signed on to be the defensive coordinator for Sark down at UT. That is a fantastic pick. The reason I'm doing this video is a follow-up of that video for the UT fans out there because you guys are awesome. I'm going to tell you, when I came down there as the radio analyst for Cal, played down there in, I think, 2016, you are some of the best college football fans in the country. And I say that with all respect. You guys are awesome. And so when you guys got on my YouTube, we're looking at the Washington stuff, all your respectful comments, all your good comments, I wanted to give you something to look forward to. Coach Kwiatkowski is one of the best defensive coordinators in college football, period. Sark made a fantastic hire. I do want to answer a couple questions up front, and I'm going to show you some game film. So I'm going to tell you exactly what he's all about, why he's so good, what he does in just a second. If you haven't done so yet and you love football, college football, X's and O's, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. Get notified every time we have new content coming out. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to preview what Coach K is going to bring down to UT and leave me a comment down below. Your comments have been fantastic so far. Please keep them coming. To answer a couple questions, one, we had a couple guys get on there and say, you know, no disrespect to Washington, but Texas gets more talent. If you look at opening day rosters last year, UW had 36 NFL players uh, that were former dogs. UT had 27. So don't underestimate Pac-12. Don't underestimate University of Washington. They got really, really good football players out there, some talented, talented dudes. And Coach Kwiatkowski is a huge part of that, recruiting those guys on defense. Guys like Danny Shelton, guys like Greg Gaines, Buda Baker. I mean, some star players from that UW defense that Coach Kwiatkowski was a part of. So UW's got talent. Don't underestimate him. Coach K knows how to coach talent. Another one that I heard is that Coach K isn't going to know how to defend those pass-happy defenses in the Big 12. Well, I'm going to show you clips today from several air raid teams throughout the Pac-12. I'm going to show you a couple of clips from Leach. I'm going to show you clips from Cal when Sonny Dykes was there running that air raid system that he learned under Mike Leach. I'm going to show you Graham Harrell at USC running the air raid versus that Washington defense. Exactly what he did to defend it. So when you guys go and face Oklahoma, you'll have an understanding of what he's doing and how effective he was at stopping some pretty good offensive teams. That said, let's hit the film. I'm going to show you a couple of plays real quick. Not going to take a long time, but so that you understand what he brings down to your program, I want you to see it as a quarterback. I hated playing against guys like him, but I appreciate what he does on that defensive side of the ball. Let's hit the film. So first up here, you're going to see Cal versus UW. And what you have is a three-by-one, three up top, one into the boundary. UW is showing kind of a one look, a press look. What they're going to end up in, though, is what's called a three-match coverage. And so you're going to get match coverage. He's going to play man-to-man -man down here. The corner up top would normally lock this down, but Cal runs the under route from the outside. And so as the wheel sit comes to him, this corner drops and plays man. So very good, very instinctive, great read. The safety on the inside plays the invert, a buzz inside. He's playing that inside zone area, that hook area. And then this safety runs vertical as Cal, for their route, runs the under, the swing sit, and the corner route over the top. We're trying to get a high-low out here in the flat. And I told you, this corner ends up playing very instinctively. He sinks with this, playing at man. And this safety sinks while they're playing man, and they both end up in position to almost get the interception on the ball. So watch that through one time. You can see that action. Safety inverts. They drop out. Safety reacts instinctively 
And Davis Webb, by the way, who's in the NFL now as a quarterback, makes a mistake on a read. They confuse the quarterback. What he's looking at here is these players both gathered up in the flat. Safety has his shoulders turned. What Coach K does, though, is he teaches these guys to play really instinctively. So as he feels vertical pressure coming from inside out, he turns and rolls. This corner sees it and runs to it as well. He allows them to freelance, allows them to play instinctively. Safety here is just enough to take away that underneath route, whether you call it a spot, snag action, a couple different names for it. But he plays that underneath, and these guys literally both end up in position. As a quarterback, you oftentimes feel like there's 12 guys on the field. So that's the coverage side of it. Now let's take a look at his rush because they do this all the time, and you will see this a ton down at UT. Coach K likes to use – a single guy to absorb several blocks. In this case, he's using his D tackles on the inside. I believe that's Greg Gaines right there, stud football player. And what he's going to try to do is engage the guard and then go activate the tackle. They're going to bring the looper back in. Again, same thing here. Engage the guard, force the tackle, bring the looper back in. In the meantime, they're going to bring a bluff blitzer to try to hold the center or back in the middle and get one of these two loopers free consistent within his defensive scheme that that's what you're going to see run up for you in slow-mo here bluff blitzer right here center has to stay home tackles engage with the guard moving out to the tackle engage with the guard moving out to the tackle these guys are going to loop loopers come in quarterback throws it into coverage because he was confused by what he saw. So that's one way he confuses quarterbacks. Versus Washington State, he used a too high shell look to start from, but then rolled into different variations of cover three. We'll take a look at that right now. So once again, you have a three by one formation. Ten personnel, one running back, no tight ends. And what you're going to get is a staple in this Washington State offense you're going to get mesh inside swing out of the backside you're going to get a bang eight or a glance post skinny post whatever you want to call it with a wheel route on the outside the quarterback for washington state is gardner Minshew. he is a very good football player ended up leading the league or and the nation in passing what are you getting from uw here well coach k looks like cover two right you got two high safeties, middle field open, rolled up corner, rolled up corner. As a quarterback, a pre-snap read says, this is cover two all the way, but it's not. He's disguising that cover two look, rushing three dudes, and what he's going to do is at the snap of the ball, this safety is going to invert middle field close. So he's going to play that center field safety. This corner is going to retreat. Cover three. Going to retreat out here. Play cover three. You're going to drop hook to curl. And this is your hook to flat defender out here as well. This safety is going to rob this area. Remember, I told you already that you're getting the combination of seam post wheel. Coach K seems to have an ability to call the right play at the right time to allow his guys to thrive. Watch it here as he calls three Robert right into the play where Gardner Minshew wants to throw. Snaps up. Minshew sees right now two safeties, but that's not what it's going to evolve into. Cover three, cover three, cover three, Rob. This post is going to come right at him. Boom. Minshew doesn't see the safety roll in. And if not for the play of a good receiver here playing defense, that should be an interception. Right play call on defense at exactly the right time. Now, once again, just so we're comparing to apples to apples, which makes sense because this is the Apple Cup, three by one, done formation. You get four vertical. 
receiver on the outside, receiver to the hash, receiver up this hash, receiver up, and sit down, what Coach Leach calls six. In this case, what does it look like again on defense? Well, once again, it looks like cover two. Hash safety, hash safety, roll corner, roll corner. So, as a quarterback, cover two. But last time they showed me cover two, they played three robber, which means they took away this zone. So as a QB, that's still in your head. Minshew almost threw a pick on that. This time, they're not going to play three robber. They're going to play three cloud to the field. Corner is going to look like he's retreating, and then he is going to sit and play the flat. Hook defender is going to stay inside. This corner is going to roll over the top. Safety is going to roll to the middle. Corner is going to retreat, and he becomes your flat defender. What does that do as a quarterback? Well, last time I saw the safety kind of hang, he took away this zone. This time, safety is coming outside. So if Minshew didn't come off it early, this is a strike. But because of his experience the last time he saw the cover two shell rotate, he comes off it early. Only this time, when he comes off of it, this corner is there to sink. Minshew looks for his swing route. Corner's there. Minshew gets confused and has to run for it on his own. And you can see him nervous about throwing that ball down the seam. In spite of the fact he predetermines right here that he is not going to throw this ball. It's there. But because this guy was robbing last time and he almost threw the pick, he comes off it and he's going to throw the swing to Borgie. Only this corner, playing instinctively, sticks his foot in the ground, reacts up, and makes him come off that throw as well, so he has to scramble. Not there, not there, doesn't like it. Gets flushed from pressure. And he does get the first down. Nice job. He's a great quarterback. Again, two different looks at cover three at exactly the right time. Keeps a quarterback guessing. One more look from USC, and we'll wrap it up. Finally, USC, it's not a pass. It's third and five. And as a defensive coordinator, third and five is kind of that no man's land in that if you call press man, if you call press coverage, you can get away with a quick pass sometimes. And what's unique about this play call on defense to me is the fact that third and five, they play press man. And could be that you get beat with easy slants here or a slant and an under. You could get beat on something quick to the outside with a sit down, some kind of puma route or something like that. But what Coach K does here is with this cover one, and you can see that as a quarterback, he's playing wide defensive ends to interrupt quick passing game, but he's also going to bring pressure from his weak safety. At the same time he does that, he's going to bring a bluff blitz from his Mike Backer. What that does is it engages these offensive linemen. Somebody has to be there to pick up the mic, and they don't expect this pressure to come. SC runs the draw underneath. Because the guard is preoccupied with Mike, safety gets in, makes the play in the backfield. And it's just a great play and a great play call by Washington's defense. They get engaged. Running back, watch the running back in this case. Running back is looking for Mike. He's trying to make this block. He doesn't notice the safety on the blitz until late, and by then it's too late to get back. Quarterback draw, safety comes over, makes the hit, and makes the tackle. Third and five, when the quick game could work for you, he brings blitz pressure because he sniffed out the draw and makes it work. So for me, one of the things that makes Coach K great as a coach is his seemingly innate ability to call the right play at the right time for defense. Secondly, he gets his players to play free, to play instinctively, and to play incredibly well. So it seems like there's more of them on the field than you're allowed to have. So they cover a lot of space. They play extremely well. They're disciplined. They react, and they run. UT fans are going to love him, and they're going to love his defense. I think 
the Longhorns are going to make a lot of noise pretty soon here when it comes to national championships. Great coaching staff. Sark put together some great dudes. Coach Kwiatkowski is a great pickup as a D coordinator. And I appreciate all you guys coming on and commenting on the channel, looking at the stuff we've got up here. So did this one for you guys today. UT fans, you're in luck. I think you're going to be pretty good pretty soon here. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, get notified when we have new stuff coming out. Give me a thumbs up if you like what I did here today about Coach K. And leave me a comment down below. You guys have left great comments. Leave some more. Happy to answer them. And if there's a good enough one, I'll do another film for you. And if you can, please share this out. We're trying to grow this channel. Our goal at Elite Athletes TV is to help as many young athletes as we can learn the game, understand the game, and improve at the game and have a great experience. So the more you share it out, the more you can help us do that. So that's just a little preview of what you guys are going to see uh, down at University of Texas. I think they're going to be really good pretty soon. Love college football. Love talking X's and O's. Uh, and hopefully I helped you guys understand what he's bringing with him. I'll talk to you again soon.